Today we will be showcasing how inner product can have real life applications. But first, let's go into what inner product is. Inner product is a scalar multiplication between two vectors, otherwise known as the dot product. Here we have two vectors on a graph and we will prove that they are orthogonal or perpendicular through inner product. But first, let's look at some of these theorems. First, the distributive theorem states that vectors behave in a manner similar to scalar numbers when added or multiplied. In this case, we have vectors u, v, and w, and we have the scalar a, which can be considered as any real number. Next, we have a law of symmetry, which states that order of operations in taking the inner product will not matter. And lastly, we have another way of showing the inner product. This will be used later in the discussion to find the angle between two vectors. Now that we have an idea of what inner product is, let's do a quick example. We will use the inner product here to prove the vectors are orthogonal. Since the answer results in the inner product being zero, the vectors are what we, what we call orthogonal or perpendicular. Today we will explore several applications of inner product in areas of media and entertainment and how these forms of entertainment make recommendations to users. The first we will look at is Netflix with Nathan's account. As you can see, Netflix keeps the shows and movies Nathan has been watching, but also starts to suggest new content based off what he watches. This is where inner product comes in. We are going to look at Because You Watched American Horror Story to start off the discussion. You may be wondering why Lady Gaga's documentary is the first suggestion when it's not even a horror genre. Let's go to Google. As you can see, Lady Gaga is a cast member of American Horror Story starring in two seasons. That's where the connection comes in. Now. Look at this. The third season of American Horror Story focuses on witchcraft and the effects and the events of Salem are a major plot point in the series. Therefore, since the topics relate, Netflix finds it meaningful for users to group similar content in the same genre as it expects users to, to like both series based off them liking one of them. Let's see why. What Netflix aims to do is to analyze the search results and viewing habits of its users and then try to compare their viewing history. Each user's usage can be thought of as a vector. When the angle between these two vectors is small, Netflix is able to accurately recommend a movie or show from one vector, say from Omar's vector containing all his watch history, to Nathan, with the expectation that Nathan will enjoy the movie or show as well. An example here is shown using arc cosine to find the angle between the searches. The equation is theta equals arc cosine of the product of the vectors over the product of the unit vector of both vectors. The smaller the angle, the closer the two searches and the more likely both users will enjoy the same content. Now, let's look at how Spotify uses the concepts of inner product to better recommend music to its users. Spotify is well known for recommending new music based off of the music you save or stream by recommending mixes with similar artists or genres. Spotify uses inner product to more accurately identify the relation between genres and artists that you may have interests in by finding the angles between each group of songs or albums. Spotify can also provide analytics based off not only what you listen to, but consumption habits like when and for how long you listen. This tells Spotify what type of listener you are, which then groups you into a vector. Spotify has collected data on this user's song preferences and has compared it to, to music traditionally associated with workout music. Spotify then claims that since this user's song choices lie within a vector similar to workout routine music, it has claimed the user is a fitness enthusiast. This means the angle between this group of songs and that of regular workout music is very small, making the prediction very accurate. We are going to confirm this recommendation by going to a playlist of Nathan's called Edgy Workout Phase. You can see in the recommendation section, it suggests to add songs that Spotify thinks fits into the style of, of the playlist. Similar artists appear, and there is an overall trend of early to mid 2000s rock and heavy metal music. This again shows the type of user Nathan is. Search engines, applications, and streaming services use inner product to better recommend or tailor the content to a specific user. This presentation was brought to you by Omar Nabrosi, Nathan Chow, and Amanwe Diaz. Thank you for watching. Take it on, take it on.